Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you when given the zeros, how to find the polynomial. Now here we have some complex zeros, so it's going to get a little difficult. But that's okay, we're going to show you what to do. Um, so remember, when we have our zeros, um, we need to write them as factors. So remember, we got our zeros because really x equals 2, x equals 4 plus i, and x equals 4 minus i, right? Because those are your zeros. x equals, those are your x-intercepts, your zeros, your solutions, so forth. Then, before that, we wrote them as 0. You could write them now as the 0 product property. So I'm going to set them each equal to 0. So x minus 2 equals 0, x minus 4 plus i equals 0, and x minus 4 minus i equals 0. And that's, remember, remember, why do they set it equal to 0? Because remember, when we factor something, we get it down to its factors, we use the 0 product property to set each factor equal to 0. So that means each one of these are now my factors. x minus 2 times x minus parentheses x plus i times x minus 4 minus i. So that's going to equal my function f of x. Now, whew, it's going to get a little difficult, right? I've got to multiply this times this. How am I going to want to do that? You can do it. Follow the rules of algebra. Don't, uh, don't mess it up a little bit. Um, or don't you know, follow the rules. Just follow the rules. But I'm going to show you a little trick what to do when you have a problem like this. Um, a way we can do is we can use our associative property. And what I'm going to do is I'm, instead of grouping the last two terms, I'm going to group the first two terms. And the reason why I do that is because, one, I looked at the back of the book for the answer. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but what I did was, if you notice when doing this, when, doing, when you do that, what you notice is you, know, you now, when multiplying these two binomials, you have a, um, you notice, well, not two binomials, but you notice you can create a difference of two squares. So if without multiplying the x minus 2, what I notice is x minus 4 is the same as x minus 4. And then I have i and i with a positive and negative. So what that gives me is x minus 4 squared, when I complete difference of two squares, plus, or sorry, minus i squared, which is negative 1. So minus the negative 1 is going to be plus 1. So now I can do my x minus 4 squared. So that's going to be. Uh, x squared minus 8x. And then I would usually do positive 16, but it's plus 1, so it's going to be positive 17. Now I need to multiply a binomial times a trinomial. You could use a box. I'm going to use FOIL. What I get is x cubed minus 8x squared um, plus 17x uh, minus 2x squared. Let's see, plus 16x minus 34. So then I just now combine them. So I get x cubed, so f of x equals x cubed minus 10x squared uh, plus 33x minus 34. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There's my two factor, or there's my two zeros with my given function uh, f of x equals x cubed minus 10x squared plus 33x minus 34. Voila. Thanks.